Taking a live look now from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where any minute the historic Orion test flight is set to launch. You can see it on the launching pad there. There's a 40 second countdown. Let's take a live listen in if we can do that right now, just a little bit to that countdown. 35. You heard the 35 there. The Orion program is NASA's bid to get back into main uh, manned space flight. Go Delta. Uh, more than three years after the final shuttle mission. 25. This is a great look here from the top of the uh, of the rocket here. Uh, still, team members stress they can't uh, get there without this first unmanned test run. Now, we had a lot of uh, delays 15. yesterday due to weather. Uh, a mariner who happened to be in the uh, water here. The igniters have been lit. Let's go ahead and listen in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Take a look at that. That is absolutely magnificent. Absolutely beautiful. Orion set to launch today. It is a $9 billion program. Good engine control in the first stage. Passing 25 seconds. Velocity 1,341 feet per second. Passing 31 seconds. Still looking good. Good engine control. Good chamber pressure in all three boosters in the full power mode. 40 seconds in. Standing by to go to the partial thrust boat in the core. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. You see something as beautiful as this, you don't have to describe very much. It's rare that we get to see this these days with, the, uh, with how much uh, NASA doesn't do uh, you know, for right now. But this could pave the way for manned space flights. Orion is supposed to do some deep space travel and possibly one day could lead to a trip to Mars. So this is a very significant, important, and very expensive flight for NASA. And uh, really unbelievable they were able to bring this to you live here on Channel 2. One minute, 22 seconds in. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Passing 124, Mach 1. Orion and Delta Force. Very cool there. You could hear NASA control. Uh, giving us the play-by-play -play there, so to speak. Joined now by meteorologist.